Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage United States Congressman Mike Collins. Hello, Rome, Georgia. Y'all, I'm Congressman Mike Collins. I'm just an old boy that made his living in the trucking business. I'm going to tell you something. Just like Donald Trump, though, I've spent my entire career in the private sector before going to Congress. That's right. And I want to tell you one of my most proudest moments. And that's the moment that I bought my ticket for the Trump train. And y'all, that was way back in 2016 before he was a nominee. And folks, I've been shoveling coal ever since. Now here's where I need you. If everybody in this room will hunker down for the Go dogs for the next seven months. Y'all are hunker down for the next seven months, folks. We'll drive this train right back to Washington, the White House, and we'll get this place back on track. Now, I need you to hear me good now, because we don't need to go to sleep on those sleepy Joe and the Democrats. Y'all in November, we got to show up. And we got to show up big, big enough to where it can't be rigged. <clears throat> now, like you, we want to get back to the number one thing that Donald Trump said we'd never get tired of doing. Winning. That's exactly right. Folks were buying cars, going on vacations, buying houses. Every American... Black, brown, white, two degrees, no degrees. Trump's economy lifted all boats. Yo, everybody was doing better. Whole lot better than what you're doing now. So when we get our captain back on the ship, he's going to get this thing turned back around because I'm going to tell you something, folks. Right now, sitting in the, in, in the U.S. House of Congress, and representatives, 65% of us are America First representatives. That's why I'm spending my time and my money until November to grow that majority. Grow that majority. Matter of fact, when we get him back in there, November, we're going to have the largest majority of Republican America First representatives in history. And we're going to need that because we're going to do some things. First thing we're going to do is going to secure that border. We're going to, we're going to stop American families from losing sons and daughters to these illegals. That's right. These illegals, these illegal aliens that are invading our country. We're going to stop the gangs, the fentanyl, the human trafficking that's going on. These outsiders that are invading our country and killing it. When Donald Trump's get there, we're going to stop it because he's going to have an America first representative majority in that house, and we're going to back him all the way. I got one more quick thing I want to tell y'all. I was very proud to have sponsored the Lake and Riley Act. We dropped that bill on a Friday, rammed it through Rules Committee on a Tuesday, voted on Thursday for President Biden, got up there ranting and raving with his confused stump speech. <laughs> Folks, y'all realize we passed that with even 37 Democrats helping us. They even realize how damn bad that border is down there. Here's the last thing I really want to say for real. Back in 2016, I was there. Y'all, I felt what that energy felt like, the electricity in the air. Now, I've been to Iowa. I've been to New Hampshire, South Carolina. And I'm going to tell you something. 
Man, lines are getting longer. The crowds are getting bigger. We learned our lesson. And folks, we're going to be back with a vengeance. Y'all, we are going to win this election in November and we are going to take our country back.